Welcome back to Defense Support. Beforehand, let's support this channel by subscribing and liking this video and sharing it with your friends to tell them the latest news. The U.S. and Germany will send infantry fighting vehicles to Ukraine, the two countries announced on Thursday. Decisions that could pave the way for the West to give Ukraine what it really wants. The White House announced that it plans to send Ukraine the Bradley Fighting Vehicle, a tracked armored combat vehicle that carries an auto cannon and a machine gun. Germany, meanwhile, will provide its martyr infantry fighting vehicle. The announcements come a day after France said it will send its AMXRC armored fighting vehicles. A highly mobile, wheeled system built around a powerful turret-mounted GIAT 105mm gun. Berlin will also join the U.S. in donating a U.S.-made Patriot air defense battery. Bringing Kiev's number of Patriots to two after the White House announced the move last month. According to the Thursday statement, Western tanks, as opposed to less powerful wheeled vehicles with smaller main guns would be a game changer for Kiev, which already operates Soviet-era tanks from its own inventories and others provided after the invasion by European nations. A Leopard or Abrams is more mobile, accurate, and has longer range compared with the old Soviet tanks. They are also more effective at protecting troops than the older tanks or even the Western infantry fighting vehicles as Ukraine continues to suffer large losses on the battlefield. Indeed, while President Volodymyr Zelensky on Wednesday thanked France for the AMX-10, he urged other allies to provide tanks and other heavy weapons. There is no rational reason why Ukraine has not yet been supplied with Western tanks, he said. The 50 Bradleys are part of an overall aid package to be announced Friday worth $3.8 billion. According to a person familiar with the matter, who requested anonymity to speak ahead of an announcement, the package sets aside $2.25 billion for Ukraine, which will also include 155mm artillery shells, another $682 million in military financing will go to Eastern European countries to allow them to buy American weaponry and military equipment. Ukraine will also receive $225 million in military financing. The package will for the first time include radar-guided Sea Sparrow anti-air missiles, which can be launched from the sea or on land to intercept aircraft or cruise missiles in a bit of battlefield innovation. The Ukrainian military has managed to tweak its existing Soviet era BUK launchers to fire the Sea Sparrow. Two people familiar with the matter said the Bradley alone would be a significant capability boost for Ukraine. The US has already sent more than 2,000 combat vehicles, including hundreds of mine resistant vehicles and Humvees that Kiev has used to push through Russia's defenses. But the U.S. Army's gold standard infantry fighting vehicle, the Bradley, is a faster but a protected update to the M113 armored personnel carrier, in addition to the 25mm Bushmaster chain gun. It is also armed with two Tau anti-tank missiles and a 7.6-tuco axial machine gun. The Brad or Infantry Fighting Vehicle Cavalry Fighting Vehicle is not a tank, but it can be a tank killer, tweeted retired Lieutenant General Mark Hurdley.
also a former commanding general of U.S. Army Europe, the Bradley is also considered to be a less escalatory choice than the Abrams for an administration still concerned about provoking Moscow. But it will be lethal on the battlefield, particularly when paired with Kiev's Soviet-era tanks, Hodges said.